So you've printed off your temp tower, but besides looking at it, how can you tell what temperature to actually print at? Let's have a quick look. So you got your temp tower to print, and now that it's printed out, you have a look at it, and you can see how the temperature changes the visual appearance of it, but how does that tell you what temperature to print at? What's the best temperature to print at for your printer and for that uh, particular spool that you're printing? So I figured out a way to get more than just the look out of this and get a little bit more data. So here, starting at the highest temperature, you can see that the print quality actually wasn't very good. There's even a little bit of separation between the layers and it's a little gobby coming out of the nozzle. And as we slowly go up, we'll see the quality start to improve. So at about 205 there, we're seeing it to be fairly consistent. And as we keep going up, 190, 195, you can see the left hand edges are really starting to smooth out. They're looking really good. And as we continue to go up, it really finishes off with a really good, smooth finish on the material. So does that mean that 180 degrees is where we should go? I don't think so. So what I like to do is I like to take a pair of pliers and start to pull the layers apart so I can see what the layer adhesion is like. So on the bottom, of course, you got this solid piece and the top's hollow and I want to get in there and pull it apart. So I just quickly break that off. There we go. Because we know we're not going to be printing at the 220 level anyway for PLA. And then just take your pair of pliers and just try to actually pull. And down here, the layer adhesion is actually quite poor. You can see it's just coming apart right there between 205 and 210. But we'll kind of give it a yank here. Yeah, 205, 210. Yeah, still coming apart pretty good. And let's keep working. So now 205 is starting to stick pretty good. I actually got to pull a little bit before it comes apart. Okay, now let's try one more time at 205. And you want to kind of remember how much force you're putting on it. Now we'll try again at 200. Okay, it's still coming apart, but like you can see, I do have to pull pretty good. So now I'm going to flip it around and go to 180 and see what that adhesion is like. And again, it comes apart a lot easier than where I was just at at 200. Yeah, so 180 comes apart pretty good. Let's keep going. Get down to the 185. 185 is a little bit tougher to pull apart. Yeah, so now we'll get into 190. And 190 is about the toughest I've come to yet. So, and just to double check, go back to 200. Yeah, so 190 is the coolest temperature that we were at where it still had good layer adhesion and uh, because it's cooler it prints out a lot smoother as well so i'm quite happy with that so with this material and this color 190 is the temperature i'm going to be printing at and so that's how i've been using the simple little temp tower to figure out what temperature I should be printing at. It's not a just about uh, how it looks, but also how strong it is, how much uh, adhesion you get between the layers. And when I started out, I thought for sure, the hotter I got, the more it would bind, the more it would stick with the layers. And I was actually quite shocked to find out how easy the temperatures that were too hot came apart. They actually, uh, it's worse to print at a higher temperature than it is at a lower temperature, which completely shocked me. 
So by just taking some pliers and pulling the layers apart, you can definitely feel where you get into that sweet spot. And once you're kind of about as strong as you can go, then you just go by look after that. If you have a range between 195 and 185 where the strength is about the same between the layers, then go for the 185, go for the cooler material, just because it's going to give you a better surface finish once your part's done. And also keep in mind, if you're doing different colors of the same brand, it will actually make a difference. I find a big difference between uh, darker materials and lighter materials, simply like black and white. Um, it may be to do with how they absorb the heat. It may have to do with just what the different dyes are that are in it. I'm not too sure, but uh, when you stick a material in there, make sure you have uh, a quick temp tower loaded up and ready to go. I will leave a link to this on Thingiverse in my description below so that you can find it if you need to. And uh, let me know how it works for you. Let me know if you have any other ways that you use to pick the right temperature for your material. Anything other than just look at it and see if it's good because I would love to know. I'd love to learn. I'd love to see if we can get anyone else to get some ideas in there so that we can learn together as a group. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and little notification bell. You'll find out when my next video is coming up and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.